Give me the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you Hey guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and today I'm doing a pick a card all about who is sending you the evil eye. Now keep in mind this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Now if this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's really good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe if you're a returning subscriber hey guys what is up how are you it's always good to connect with your energy and I truly appreciate you being here I just want to give a big thank you and show my appreciation for all of you who are donating to my channel I truly appreciate it they always come in those donations and the emails and the um, the messages and stuff always come in in really at really meaningful moments for me and uh, I just appreciate it so much so a big thank you and big hug I am very behind on my email so just bear with me but I deeply appreciate you guys so all right as you see before you there are three piles of cards with three different evil eye figures on them okay charms on them um, we have three piles of cards so I have done a bid bit of a pre-shuffle. My tongue's also heavy because of my medication. I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity. And at the end of each group, I'm going to pull letters, initials, and charms. So we will find out more information about the situation. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you each evil eye charm up close so you can get a better vibe of your group. Group one, you are the many-eyed evil eye charm group two you are the evil eye charm group three you are the evil eye flower all right guys those are going to be your selections i will insert a little video with some music for those of you guys who need a little bit more time to see which group you're drawn to now if you're drawn to more than one group there may be more than one message here for you with that said i'll see you beautiful magical creatures on the other side bye guys Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed 
To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with a grand in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff Hey group one, all of you that selected the many-eyed evil eye charm, this is going to be your reading all about who is sending you the evil eye. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, it's a general session, so just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Let's get into the cards that came out for you. Now be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms for this reading. We're going to find out more information about who is sending you the evil eye. Uh, the first card I have here is judgment. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys, I feel like this person is unbalanced. They're a little unhinged, okay? Um, they may have a really bad temper. Um, I also feel like there's something ending here. Um, let's get more into the cards and find out what that energy is about. We have Abraxas. Okay, so Abraxas in this deck, the demonic or the demon tarot, I think that's what it's called, or the daemon tarot. Um, this is a lying spirit, okay? They could tell the truth. He could tell you the truth. He could not tell you the truth. It all depends, that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like this person is prone to gossip about people or make up stories about people or lie. Um, I'm hearing like habitual liar. This is someone who um, I feel like they lie for attention. Um, and there's, okay, so there's a couple of energies here. So this could also be someone who thinks you're lying. Okay, so take what resonates here. So I'm picking up on a couple of different energies. So just take what resonates here. All right. Okay, so we have zombie control, okay? We have learning from social conflict. Okay, interesting. We have accepting the past, okay. Hmm. We have prince using power for self-aggrandizement, okay? There's that lying energy, that kind of like just unbalanced energy, uh, any attention is good attention. Bride in a cage. Okay. I feel that. I feel that energy. Okay. We have masquerade. Okay. Uh, we have forgetting oneself. Hmm. We have gives others reasons to leave and to never look back. Wow. Okay. Okay. Destination addiction, always on the onto the next best thing, and neglects what is right in front of them. Okay. Repeatedly disappoints others, but not by not following through, ghosting, lying, you name it. Bare bones, facts, nitty gritty. Waiting, analyzing, pumpkin seeds. That one was bare bones. We have speed demon driving carpool movement. And then we have some channeled messages. So sexy. 
Natural flirt, Libra, I see you. Okay, so you may be a Libra. There may be a relationship here, though. This feels like, like a relationship as well. You may be an Aquarius, or they may be an Aquarius, uh, Gemini. So there may be air sign energy here, inappropriate envy. Insta, TikTok, Facebook, online, block, wants contact, invisible, Aquarius. So there's lots of air energy here, okay? Uh, Libras can be natural flirts. They don't necessarily mean anything by it. They're just, you know, trying to make everybody feel good. Um, it's just kind of a natural trait a lot of Libras have. Okay, so who is sending you the evil eye? Well... I'm feeling like this is someone who you've definitely had some kind of past fight with, okay? So it hasn't, it's not like this is a surprise, okay? Whichever way this resonates for you, I'm feeling two different energies here. Um, it feels online, okay? We have online here, and I'm also feeling that with the many eyes here. This could have to do with a platform, um, they see you on it could also be family that sees you online so just you know uh take what resonates here but there is an issue with what happened in the past they think you're lying um about something or they lied about something okay um someone is not being honest in this situation and i feel like there is lying and betraying going around by word of mouth in some group or family. Um, and this person really, it's like, what I'm getting is like the facts are going to come out and people are going to see what really happened. And they're going to see you for who you truly are. It's starting to rain outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, because you forget who I am. You forget. There is a controlling issue here. Like someone is very controlling. And there is a loss of control here. They feel invisible. And they're very triggered by this lack of connection they don't have with you anymore. It feels like this may be somebody you know in person and online. It's like an online, either an online friendship that turned into like a close friendship or it's family or something like that. It feels like online that kind of either a, a real life situation that that also includes online or online that went into a real life situation okay we have three of swords okay so yeah definitely there's some kind of fight heartbreak betrayal here lies um being told and i feel like there is such envy here because i feel i feel an energy moving on Okay, just moving on. With the natural flirt, what I'm really picking up on here with the envy and the natural flirt is that someone here is moving on with grace and style. Okay, they're just like, it's a fact, Jack. I'm moving on. Like, it's done for me. This is done. And this person doesn't like that. So they're sending you this malicious energy. Okay, they do not want things to go well for you. Okay, they really don't. If you have some kind of illness, some of you guys, I'm feeling like you might have like problems with like anxiety or headaches or migraines. I'm feeling like, I'm not feeling exactly like heart problems, but like anxiety, nervousness or something like with migraines or stress. Okay, they want you to be nervous. Like, you should be nervous. I want you to be nervous. Tell me more about this evil eye energy. Tell me more about this evil eye energy. We have the two of cups. They feel invisible now. Um, maybe you have blocked this person, and this is part of it. Um, because the two of cups, like, at one time you were close to this person. Definitely. And we have driving carpool movement. I feel like if this is online, you guys have seen each other at some point. Like, like this has been a real life or you have been like in FaceTime a lot. It feels real. It, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a real element to this no matter how you slice it. Okay. And they are not accepting this, this block, this breakup of whatever this is. They're not accepting it and they're hateful about it. Like, if we can't, like, if it's not going to be smooth sailing with us, then I don't want things going well for you. Like, without me, everything you do is going to crumble. I'm getting that uh, scene from The Color of Purple. 
you know, but unlike the movie, this feels real unjustified. Okay, you know, where uh, Celia says everything you do is going to crumble until you do right by me. I feel like that. I feel like this might have been something they actually said or some kind of like cursing statement like that. But the truth is, is that this person actually like messed you over. It, it's real weird. And I, I feel like this person, like I said, when I opened up this reading, is that this person feels delusional. There's emotional instability here. Um, and we have social conflict, accepting the past. I feel like this is what's happening. Like this is not what's happening. This is what needs to happen with this person. And because of their inability to deal with their own utter bullshit, they are kind of stuck in this obsessive energy with you, okay? Not being able to let it go. The four of hazards. I don't want to hear that shit. He's got his hands over his ears. I don't want to hear that shit. I just, I don't want to hear it. It's not true. And I also feel this is, this is the energy coming from you. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm done with the bullshit. And then they're also like, that's not true. It's not done. So it, it's a lot of that energy of like, you not having it. And them like saying, it's not done. You're going you're gonna to get into a world of hurt and you're going to come back. Because things aren't going to go well for you. I'm hearing things aren't going to go well for you. Follow through, ghosting. We have that. Always on to the next best thing and neglects what is right in front of them. This person has, has been neglectful for you, to you. They neglected your relationship in some kind of way. Gives others reasons to leave and to never look back. Okay, so they feel like this is what you did to them. That you, you just, you used them in some kind of way. Okay, and so they're wanting that to happen to you. That's their evil eye energy. They're wanting you either to get very physically ill if you have some kind of illness, which is such a nasty, nasty energy. Like they want you to be triggered by the stress of this blocking situation um, or they're wanting someone to kind of like leave you and never look back. This could be your partner. Um, it could be people in your, this group or the situation, like looking at you and seeing the lies, supposedly quote unquote, the lies they feel like you told and seeing their truth and like walking away and saying, you know, blocking you, how could they block, you know, after you blocking them, them, these other people blocking you, it's like them getting some kind of revenge or something on you, um, it feels like this person feels owed, like some kind of, like they feel disrespected in some kind of way um, by what happened here. Tell me more about this situation. We have the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. So we have the Nine of Swords. So this per person definitely is like spending a lot of time thinking about the situation, okay? And it's almost like they're projecting worry and grief onto you like they want you to worry they want you to be nervous they want you to be uncertain um and for some of you some of their harsh words with the king of swords some of their harsh words may come back to haunt you sometimes don't let it okay don't don't let what happened here haunt you because that's what this person wants they want to be a ghost in your head Okay, they really want to get into your mental space. A um, lot, lot of the swords energy, three of swords, the king of swords, uh, the nine of swords. They, he, this person seems to really want to get in your head. It's almost like they want to set you up to fail uh, where your relationships do not work out. And I feel like the happier they see you, especially if you have an online presence, the more they feel a loss of control. And this very unhinged judgment card. Look at this. This is Cthulhu. And it, Cthulhu is chaotic. That's chaotic energy. Okay. And you can, you know, use chaos to create things, but it is very destructive. And, it, you know, you have, anyway, that's a whole other conversation. But anyway, I feel like this person's very unhinged by what happened here. And they're very, uh, to a point, there's a lot of illusions this person is believing. And they're spreading those illusions to other people. Um, there's disillusionment in general. And 
a lot of misery with this person. And it's like they're projecting that onto you. So um, if this is a situation where there has been um, like a choosing of a different person or a, a different situation over them, they really want that relationship to fail. Um, and they would like it to fail by you getting sick. And I got to tell you, people who wish illness on other people, there's just that's just a special kind of bad karma. Okay. And I don't like the word karma. I, I, I just, I don't, but that's the word we have. So there is a special kind of teaching lesson that they are formulating with the universe to wish such, um, a horrible thing on another human being that that's such a, you know, that's such a nasty energy. So this is a particularly nasty energy. Uh, you know, do some, some energy protecting on yourself, clear your energy. If you've blocked this person, I applaud you. If you know who this is and you haven't blocked them, you might consider it. Um, I would do a lot of like um, clearing. I I'm getting that over and over. You need to clear your energy of this person. Uh, definitely wear your evil eye jewelry um, if that aligns for you. Some of you guys need to get your mental space cleared of this negativity, especially if you've had harsh words and they've said, some of you guys have had some really hideous things said to you by this person and it's very hard to get that out of your head. So take some time and heal up some of those issues that were caused by that really mean and nasty energy. Um, take your time with it. All right, let's get you some letters, initials, and some charms. Okay, group one, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name. Just take what resonates. Now, I'm concentrating all my energy on the middle of this magic mirror. I have an obsidian black uh, scrying mirror in the middle, magic mirror in the middle of this other magic mirror. Okay. So I just want to make that clear. So we got quite a few initials. Sometimes I get a lot. Sometimes I get a few. It just depends. So I'm going to read off the letters for you. We have D T G P T O X N B J N K R A W C I A F S E I K K E. Now we have toxin. Okay. So this, for a lot of you, is a very toxic situation. So please keep that in mind. Okay. Um, some of you guys just, you need to clear your energy and get out of this toxic energy. It's not good for you. And that's probably why you guys were like, you know what? I need to like cut this person off. Like I, I need some time away from this person energetically. You know, it, it's been tough. And although it's not on the middle of the, uh, it's not on the mirror in the middle. Uh, we do have the tower here. This is the Eiffel Tower and it had fall, it's fallen on the mirror. So um, you guys have had some kind of tower already fall. Okay. And this is just the leftover energy and the person is really working through it. We have the hammer here and I feel like this person is just, it's almost like they're hammering at a nail that's already been hammered in. You know, it's just they keep going at it and there's nothing to go at anymore. I feel like because you you've moved on. All right. You have left the building. It is already done, but they still wish you harm. We have this heart here and it has an eye on it. And I'm just you guys need to like get some evil eye jewelry or protective protection charms or do your protective work. And you know what? Do protective work when you feel called to do it, not just when it's scheduled for you. Because some people have like schedules of when they do protection work. Like I do them every Monday or I do it on the first or I do it whenever. Sometimes spirit, your guides will come in and say, hey, we need you just to real quick, like do a quick like, um, you know, dragon's blood you know, burn or, or we need you to spray with some kind of like psychic clearing spray or, you know, we need to just kind of clear the energy in your house or, or do a, a quick sweeping of the broom from the, you know, the back of your house to the front to sweep out your energy. You know, there's all kinds of different methods of clearing your house. Okay. But some of you need to clear the energy of your house. Okay. Now I just want to say this because I feel like some of you have 
old stagnant energy in your house and it has to do with clutter and I don't I'm not getting on you about it okay <clears throat> first of all I don't want you to feel like you're getting I'm getting on to you my throat chakras some of you guys may feel a little you know it's hard when you have this going on okay but I want to encourage you to uh, take it day by day little area by little area and start going through it okay just a drawer at a time one drawer is a big victory listen as a chronically ill person when i first got out of bed i had a lot of stuff to go through okay and i didn't do it all in one day it took it took a very long time all right there's no shame in it and why it's important is that just a little bit of movement can really help clear some of this energy so if you're feeling this and you're feeling some stagnation and you're feeling some of this energy just start clearing a box or a drawer and you'll see the energy kind of start to lighten up and it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of motion just steady motion okay you'll feel better and you'll feel lighter and your house will feel a little lighter too. So, and the more of that energy you get, the more you'll want to do that. Now, that's a side message for some of you. So just take what resonates, okay? Um, we have the stethoscope here. So um, I'm getting a message from your guides. You need to take care of yourself because for some of you guys, this is family and this hurts, okay? No matter the toxicity, no matter the weird energy, no matter what's gone on here, this is painful shit, okay? This is like root chakra stuff, okay? Now, if it isn't family, but it's someone that feels like family, a lot of times it will take you back to like three of swords situations in family situations. I think however this played out for you, I think it, it brought you back to some kind of triggering trauma or emotional baggage moment in your own life with someone close, someone foundational, okay? So you may find that you're working through that, okay? Um, but what I get with the car is there's movement here. Like you're moving forward, okay? Um, and this person sending you this energy is stuck in the past and they're gonna be there a while, okay? But there's a lot of healing energy. Uh, we have a saint here, charm we have this leaf here i'm just feeling a lot of healing with a stethoscope uh, a lot of clearing energy coming through for you um, and with this charm right here i'm feeling like it's important that you let go of things that need to be let go of you can see how this charm is kind of like it looks like half a bowl like it broke and i feel like there's a you may have things around you that are maybe from this situation or it may be emotional um baggage or something that you need to let go of you need to give yourself permission to kind of feel the emotions it might be tears it might be anger but there, there's something emotional or something physical that you need to let go of and it may be just something that you need i tell people to do this all the time but i swear it works if you have like items that you don't want to get rid of because down the line to you know your descendants they may have some kind of value but you don't want to have that energy get you some salt and put that shit in a box with that salt and wrap it up tape it up and put it in a corner in a closet or your attic and move on okay the energy will be kept in there safely and you won't have to worry about it anymore all right if it's stuff you can get rid of throw that shit away okay because you deserve to have your space clear and sometimes when we can clear our physical space it makes it easier to clear the clutter in our mind especially about you know intense emotional situations like this one okay and it feels like it was it was uh emotional for a lot of you guys and um i'm <laughs> getting this really cute little uh, little cat here uh i'm getting like you guys this has been so intense you guys um we have this cute little comb here we I, i'm feeling like you guys need to have some fun and do some self-care uh 
May, you always have a shell in your pocket and sand between your toes. Some of you guys, you literally need to get out in nature. You need to go to the beach. You need to go to the forest. You need to go to the woods. You need to gather flowers. You need to do some herbal magic. You need to, you know, bake some cookies. You need to get your hands in nature. Um, have some fun. Laugh. Go fly a kite. Whatever this is, okay? A lot of you guys need to get into your more playful nature. It will help lift some of this heavy energy out of your system, okay? Because although this evil eye energy feels really nasty, I feel like the damage has already been done. Like the worst is over with this person. What they're sending you pretty much is psychic impressions and it's their misery. And this person is miserable, okay? And they're gonna be miserable for a while uh, they have their own baggage, and if this is family, you already know. They have their own baggage. I mean, this this judgment card speaks of just lots of issues, okay? Lots of chaos around this person, and you probably are going to find that your life becomes more and more calm without this energy around you. So enjoy your peace, okay, because you definitely deserve it. Okay. We have a thread and a thimble here. All right. So I feel like this is a reminder from your guides to protect yourself. Okay. Prepare, prepare your yourself for incoming. That's what I'm getting. So a lot of you guys, you need to be more protective. Some of you guys, what I'm getting is you need to do some, um, like protections for like your online stuff. Okay, so, you know, make sure like your online protections for, you know, uh, your accounts and your online, um, what do they call the antivirus or whatever, make sure all that's up. Okay. Um, and some of you guys, uh, you need to, there's something about like your house, your front door. Some of you guys need to check your locks or something like that. I don't know if if some of you live close to this person or this person was so close to you at one time, they had a key to your house. Uh, but if I were you, you might want to like check on that, maybe change the locks or get a new lock. That won't be for all of you. You know, if it's you, then you know. All right. Okay, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group two, all of you that selected this evil eye charm. This is going to be your reading all about who is sending you the evil eye. Now keep in mind this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity and at the end of this reading I will be getting letters, initials, and charms. So let's get into it and find out who is sending you Oops, the evil eye. All right so all right, let's find out what came out in the Cthulhu Tarot. We have the world. Ooh, this is such an intense world card. There we go. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you guys could see it. This is such an intense world card. Um, and whenever I get this world card, I always feel like this cello is doing the tiniest violin. Like there's no compassion here at all for you. Um, and I'm feeling this energy of basically you've changed and I don't like it. I don't like this new chapter that you're going into. I don't like this portal that you've jumped into. So this person's making noise about it, right? They don't feel, I'm getting this like, I don't feel sorry for you, but the thing is, is that I don't feel like this is a negative doorway or portal. I don't feel like the changes are necessarily bad, like that you're going through. I actually think you're becoming more fully who you are. So I, I'm not sure where this energy of I don't feel bad for you kind of thing is coming from. Okay, so we have Garuda. Okay, it's like, it's 
not one to focus. Okay, there you go. All right, and we have Mammon. Ammon. Calling the storm. Earth, hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. Bambrack, sweetness and synergy. Ancestors. Samaritan, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Generation, gener I'm sorry, generating dynamic confidence. Masculine energy. Acknowledgement, recognition, best award. Horror fest, watching movies, binging. Head in the clouds has an idealistic view of the world, of others, and of themselves, which may distort their judgment. Off with their heads, becomes angry and irritated when others do not follow their lead or when others question their authority. Ooh, okay. Casper the Shady Ghost, mysterious and cute, but doesn't stay around for long and only appears at their own convenience. Okay, let's get some channeled messages here. We have Aries, harmful. We have magical and mysterious spell casting. Any intention is good intention. You are all I see. Sagittarius, emotionally intelligent. Pisces, glamour. So we have Aries, Pisces, and Sagittarius showing up here. Um, okay. First of all, I feel like this is coming from someone who feels like they've given a lot to you. Full on martyr energy. Okay. They feel like they've given a lot. This could be a parent. It could be a boss. It could be someone who's mentored you in some kind of way. Um, it could be someone, it could be a friend who thinks they've given a lot to you. But there's this energy of like, I've done so much for you. And now you've motherfucking changed and you don't appreciate a damn thing I've done. Who do you think you are? That kind of energy. And it's like, I hope the door slams in your face. I hope the door slams in your face because you're just really not that good um, at what you're trying to manifest. You're really not that good. Okay, you're really not that good. And uh, all this attention, all this energy that you're manifesting is going to backfire. Okay, you may be a witch um, or you may be a good manifester or you just may have a good flow going on. Or perhaps that's what you're trying to manifest. And I feel like this energy kind of is feeling it. People are starting to kind of feel a buzz or an electricity around you. You know, take what resonates here. There could be a few energies with pile two. I felt a few energies with pile one as well. So please take what resonates here. With Ammon, Mammon, and Gardua, there feels an energy of someone who deep down is greedy. Okay, so this giving person is actually quite greedy. And they give for a reason. They give because it makes them feel powerful. Okay, um, if you're not family, then giving gives them a hand in to control of your home or your life in some kind of way. Um, they like being able to have a hand in people's lives is what I'm getting with that hearth card. So it could be family. It could just be someone who controls your money. It could be a friend who has some kind of, you know, uh, complicated kind of control. It just take what resonates here. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of jealousy about this attraction energy that I'm feeling about you. Okay. Um, and for some of you, I'm just going to tell you, for some of you, this person has casted something harmful. Okay. Uh, low key. 
all right? And if you if you know, you know, okay? So if you're witchy and this person's witchy, then you probably have a feeling, okay? Uh, if it's not for you, don't take this, okay? Only take that part if it resonates, all right? Don't make it fit and don't freak out if it's not for you, okay? We have glamour here. And what I'm feeling is that a lot of you are just looking really good, and this energy is super pissed off about it. They don't like the changes. They don't like the glow up of your inner life or your outer. Uh, some of you guys may have come forward more with more e um, emotional honesty, or maybe you're being more honest about who you really are. You may be living your life more out loud. And this person absolutely hates it, and they want you to stop. Um, they want you to stop being so loud. Like, we don't need to know. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, I feel like someone's saying, I don't need to know. I don't care. But the truth is, they do care. They care a whole hell of a lot. Um... And there's something here about money, about resources. Um, I'm getting from this person like, do you think you're actually going to be able to be okay financially without me? So for some of them, maybe they do have money or something like this and they have some kind of control of it. Just, just take what resonates here. For some of you, this could be a boss who holds your purse strings. Perhaps they hold your hours or something like that and they can give you less, they can give you more. Perhaps this is someone who could give you a, a bonus or something. Um, there are several different energies for group two, okay? More than group one. So, um, but I feel like this energy gets off on power. And they, they also really, now, they really, like, get their jollies from people getting fired or people having financial hardships. Because I feel like this person, if they don't have money and resources, they feel like they do. Ooh, check that out. Like, if they don't have real financial, like, abundance, they feel like they're better than other people's anyway. There's something about them that makes them feel like they're better than, even though they may not really have what they think they do. You know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very weird. It's a very weird energy that I'm feeling. Some of them do have the money. They have it. But some of them really don't. They just have this uppity uppity business. Now, it could be that's from a moral perspective. Like, they think they're better because they you know, have a different religious perspective or a political perspective, and they think that makes them a better human being, which it doesn't. Fundamentally, it doesn't make them a better human being, right? But they feel that way. I, I'm actually seeing someone riding a white horse on a mountain looking down on people, like on a tall hill looking down on people. Like this person enjoys looking down on people. They have a very warped sense of self. They feel more important. They think they're more important than what they actually are. Okay. Uh, so they feel very slighted when people do not give them a lot of kudos and gratitude when they do things. And it doesn't matter how small it is. Okay, this could be someone who loaned you $20 and you never paid it back. Okay, I know $20 is $20, right? I'm not trying to downplay the value of $20. I'm just saying, you know, this is someone who ho is holding a hardcore grudge and wis wishing this is like failure on you. Like whatever, like if you're going to college, if you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to get ahead, if you're trying to just keep food on the table, this person is wishing like financial hardship on you over $20. That seems kind of petty to me, especially if this is someone who really does have resources. Now, if this is someone who is just feels like they're better than everyone, uh, then they just want, deep down, they don't want to be alone in their own misery. So they just wish it on everybody. Uh, and with that kind of train of thought, I'm feeling alcoholism here as well. I'm feeling like an alcoholic, someone with some kind of toxic addiction. I'm feeling like, well, addiction is, you know, toxic. But anyway, uh, also could be like a shopaholic, someone who just 
burns burns through money could be gambling i'm seeing man, money set on fire as well i feel like some of them feel like if they've given you money they might as well just set it on fire because look what you did with it um some of them i feel like getting this energy of like i wish i had known what you were going to do with it because i wouldn't have given it to you it could be money it could be like a house it could be property that you sold it could be a car uh but they feel like you know i i wouldn't have given it to you if i didn't know you were going to do that it, this person listen honey no in that situation no matter what you would have done they would not have been happy with you this person is incapable of really being happy for anyone when they give you a christmas present like they want a thank you note they want to, you to just go all out this is the kind of person that will like everyone agrees for uh to spend $25 on a Christmas present, and they're the one that spends $150 on each person's Christmas present. And they want you to fawn over them and be forever grateful for them uh, going above and beyond the rules, right? That's this kind of person. Like any attention is good attention. They give for the attention, okay? And you know, to a degree, we all, you know, we all want attention. There's nothing wrong with that. But this person is like a glutton for attention. Um, and if you do not uh, give them enough gratitude, they get real, real bitter. This is a bitter bitch. For real. They're very bitter. Um, and they have money issues, uh, greed issues. And even if this person doesn't have anything, they're very greedy. You can have nothing and still be a very greedy person. You can become miserly, uh, which blocks the flow of your money because you're so miserly. You know, you can be someone who spends all your money and have a hard time holding on to money because you have not learned the true value of money. So there, there's money issues here. Uh, this person could very well have a lot of money or a lot of resources, but not really know how to balance it well. So there's issues with accounts, like how much is an account? An account we don't know. We don't know how much money is actually there. We don't know. Are the taxes paid this year? We don't know. Like there's a lot of unknowns for some of you about this kind of stuff. For some of you guys, this has to do with some kind of inheritance or family trust or, or family business. Just take what resonates here. There's a lot of different information coming in for group two. Uh, and we haven't even pulled any tarot. So uh, let's go to, okay, they're telling me to switch decks. So I'm going to switch my decks up. And we're going to go to the occult tarot. Okay, tell me more about this situation. Uh, we have generating dynamic confidence. I feel like you're growing with this magical and mysterious energy spell casting. Um, it's quite possible that perhaps you have done some of your own kind of energy work or spell casting or just worked on yourself and you really are changing and growing and becoming more happy with who you are. Uh, perhaps you've casted some glamour or beauty magic on yourself. This person doesn't like it. And they're judging you. If you have changed your appearance in any kind of way, this person is judging it. They don't like it. Okay. I'm hearing that, and you know, this is coming from them, not from Auntie Amy. Okay. But they're saying nasty things about it. Like for some of you, they don't like how much skin you show. For some of you, they don't like the new hair color. For some of you, they think you look cheap. Okay. Even though this person is just, you know, the bottom of the barrel kind of energy. All right. This is the kind of things they say. And they really wish that uh, this acknowledgement and recognition energy that's circling around you, they, they hope you fall on your face like a clown. You're a clown. You're a buffoon. You're an ungrateful clown. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, tell me more about this situation. I'm hearing payback is a bitch. That's what I'm hearing. And I don't feel like that's coming from them. I feel like that's coming from your ancestors. I feel like this person is going to get it. They're going to get it. Um, no reversals. We have the seven of swords here. We have the ten of wands. Okay. All right. Lying about burdens. Lying about burdens. We have the ten of swords. Ooh. This is nasty. This is nasty energy. We have the sun and we have the ace of wands. Okay. Interesting. The ten of wands. This is about burdens. It's about endings. Um, the lying. For you, this is done. 
this energy, you are done with this energy. Okay. Um, they really want people to cut you off. They want people to walk away from you. They want people to see what a fake liar you are, how you're not real, how everything's a glamour. Nothing about you is real. How the person they thought they knew isn't, isn't who you really are. And this new person can't be trusted. Um, yeah, it feels real gross. Like there's this energy of really wanting to cut you off. But here you are. Here, here's this energy. Here we have the sun and the ace of wands. Good, positive, hopeful, inspired energy moving forward. And honestly, I feel like when I hold these two cards, I feel this energy coming from you of like, you know what, Auntie Amy? I just don't fucking give a shit. There you go. There you go. High five. There you go. There you go. You win. You win. You don't care anymore. You don't care. That's wonderful. Like when you stop caring about people like this, when these kind of people stop holding space in your mind, it's done. And no matter what they do, they can never get back in because you have left the motherfucking building. Group two has left the building, bitch. So send your evil eye. You're sending it to an empty room. Nobody's there. <laughs> Nobody's there. Nobody's there, you dumbass bitch. Nobody's there. <laughs> I love this for you so, so much, group two. You have the Knight of Swords and Three of Pentacles. There you are. Aggressively going after what you want. That's what I'm getting here. Aggressively, with positivity, focus, determination. You are no longer letting the shit in group two hold you back. You do not care what this person thinks. Like you're just like, you know, it's good to know, but I don't give a shit because I'm going to go forward and do what I do. I'm living my truth. I'm living who I am. I am living out loud. I have all this good juju, all this good energy around me. And I am going to just, I'm going to fly. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm going to fly. I'm going to live in the truth of self and baby, I'm going to fly. And this person right here, they can just stay on the ground. <laughs> they can stay on the ground. That's right. <laughs> the five of pentacles. They can stay on the ground in their lack, in their war on their self and everybody else around them. And uh, I'm going to be the king of wands and the hierophant. Yes. I'm going to be that charismatic, focused, inspired, energetic, vital king that is a leader. This is inspiring, okay, because you have someone who is fighting really in many ways for your attention, for your bad attention, like to have bad intentions towards you, like to want bad things for you. And I think in the past, you probably got lost in this energy a little bit, in this headspace. And now I feel like you are so far beyond that. You're like, again, I'm feeling this energy like, it's good to know, but you know what? Fuck them. <laughs> I just get this energy of like, you know what? I am on to bigger and better things. Like I have so much more ahead of me that I don't have time to deal with this. And if, as far as this like being, if you guys have, this is a family thing with money, I feel like you're leaning into the fact that it's gonna work out how it's gonna work out. Like the universe is gonna unfold things as they will for you. And that's really what you're leaning into because I feel like deep down, no matter the circumstances that you may be living in group two, I feel like you know that the universe has your back because through the situation where you have been growing into more of the truth of who you are, the universe has had your back, your guides, ancestors, whatever. So whatever nasty energy this person could be attempting to throw at you is a fucking joke. They're a clown. They may be calling you a clown, but this person, they're a clown because they're messing with the real one. They don't realize how protected you are. You have a lot of protected 
energy, like protective energy around you because of the major strides in life you're trying to do. You're healing a lot on a lot of different, in a lot of different ways, a lot of different layers of self. And you may not realize it, but there's other people watching you do this. And it's very inspiring to other people. So let this bitch hate. Let him send the evil eye, whatever, because it's not going to touch you. Okay. In group one, I was like, you know, cleanse your energy, clear your energy. I feel like you guys just need to keep doing what you're doing. Don't let this be a bump in the road. And I really don't think for you guys, it's even a second thought. All right. So let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Hey, group two, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. I'm focusing all my energy on everything that landed on the obsidian mirror that's in the middle of this mirror and um, everything that kind of touched the edge. So there's quite a few initials. So uh, keep in mind, these could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name. Just take what resonates. So let's read them off. We have... I V T R C D F A L B U Z O R N N P F T Y A P K O X D J. Okay. Um, let's see. We have a passport here. So some of you guys may be about to travel. Um, you may be thinking about going on a vacation or traveling to see someone. Some of you guys might be traveling to see somebody. Uh, just keep that in your pocket. <laughs> okay. Um, and we have this cute little, um, cone here, like ice cream. Um, listen, I know that you guys are going places. I get it. Okay. Um, and you're very protected. All right. We have a saint. I think this is a saint, um, charm here. And, um, we have another like evil eye charm showing up. We had an evil eye charm that showed up in the first group as well. And I, I think you have a lot of faith. Uh, you've had to, um, on this kind of journey. And I feel like you guys need a break. I have been feeling this. I felt this for the first group too. I feel like a lot of us have been under a tremendous amount of stress the first part of this year. And, um, you guys need a breather. Okay. This soldier came out with the first group, I do believe, and I'm being pulled to it for you guys. And I, I feel like, I feel like you guys have been, been like working at something, probably this authentic self. You've been going very deep, probably doing a lot of shadow work. And there is a lot of movement here. You may not have seen a lot of movement, but some of you guys are fixing to see it. Okay. And so right now you're being called to kind of rest, have some ice, ice cream. Okay. Have some ice cream. Enjoy your life. Uh, don't overthink things. Relax. Have, have, a, have a little cool drink by the pool or whatever. Where, if it's summer where you are, if it's not, you may not want to have a cold drink by the pool. It might be too cold. But uh, try to enjoy whatever season you're in where you are. We have the catechist here. Uh, this um, is a medical um this is a medical symbol. I'm also getting something about Hermes here as well. Some of you guys, that might mean something. Um, and I, I feel like for many of you, there's going to be like divine messages come through for you in very weird ways. Um, you might find like objects moved around, um, especially if you do magic. We have magic, magical and mysterious. Um, you may find that your synchronicities start involving things being moved or um, something that involves like objects in your house, like more paranormal things. Instead of seeing just synchronicities, you start seeing the synchronicity, like not not synchronicities, but symbols. Like instead of seeing like 11, 11 all the time, you start seeing like your keys are always moved or, uh, you know, 
some other kind of like household thing that the key is being moved is what's coming to mind. But you might have like uh, when you start to do like your magic or your rituals, perhaps, or, or what or your meditations, perhaps you have an incense burner that you always use. And, and it seems to disappear every time you start to want to use it for something like magical or a ritual or something. And you find that always happens. And then you look for it for five minutes and then all, all of a sudden it's back where it was before. Those kind of things is what I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to say. So um, you may find that the synchronicities that you have now go from being like symbols and signs that are like pictures and seeing like owls all the time or hearing music to objects being moved in your actual 3D space. So starting to see 3D manifestations of signs and symbols and synchronicities. I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right, group, group two, you're not group three, <laughs> group two, that's what I received for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I will see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected the flower evil eye. This is going to be your reading all about who is sending you the evil eye. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity. And at the end of this reading, I'll be getting letters, initials, and charms. So let's get into it and find out what came out for you uh, in the pre-shuffle. So the first card we have is the sun. Now, this sun card is is weird, <laughs> of course. Uh, this is like the black sun, the false sun is what I'm picking up on. And I'm feeling this energy of bedazzlement, of self-delusion, um, of uh, fakeness, of um, like just not really the sun okay war uh competition look how they're fighting fighting energy so uh, let's find out who is sending you the evil eye we have ro rovo ronov ron ronov um this energy is a very good speaker they can be manipulative so i'm i'm feeling this energy of manipulative speech uh, as well. So let's keep going here. We have forgiveness, reducing burden. Okay. Interesting. We have breaking the chain of repeating cycles. Okay. So it feels like there may have been some situation with this person that kept repeating. Okay. There may have been a need to break apart from this person. Virgin, fear of intimate union. Um, I don't really feel that. What I'm feeling with this is like people think you're so innocent. People think you're so innocent. It's so fake. Hiding your true self. You're so fake. Like you have people fooled. You're so manipulative. People can't see the truth of you. Like you lie all the time. You're constantly lying. Anger and chains. The whole theme of lying has come out a lot today like in these, um, in these uh, evil eye readings. So it's kind of a theme, it seems. We have parked cars, staying put, no movement. Ooh, they want you in stagnation. Scavenger hunt, 3D money, material wants. Ooh, compelled twin flames bound. So there's some kind of, um, of, uh, of connection here that's pretty intense. We have spirit box, 5D communication voices. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, holds onto fears, has difficulty releasing the fears which may be holding them back and moving forward, comfortable in what they know versus the unknown. Okay, we have constant complainer, isn't satisfied with their life and or others and expects others to change. Even if others do, they are still not satisfied. Okay. We have hangs on tight, secretive with their actions, but wants to know what their partner is doing 24 seven as a means of control. We have bails out when shit gets hard. Yeah, I feel like 
they feel like you quit when things get hard. Like you, you ran off when things got hard. Vampire, parasite, cut the cord. Delightful personality. Okay, I feel like this is the mask they think you wear. A victim of a victimless crime, voiceless. Okay, martyr energy. Dark hair, dark and divine. <clears throat> Perhaps you have dark hair or they do, or there's a darker kind of aesthetic around you. Just take what resonates there. Okay, we have player addiction. Okay, uh, some of you guys, they think you have some kind of addiction. Maybe you don't, maybe you do, or they have some kind of addiction. Maybe they don't, maybe they do. It's going to be different for different people. Please take what resonates. We have Aquarius self-mastery. I feel like that's pretty much the path you're on. Okay, uh, they feel they're owed an apology, number one. Mm -hmm. Anger and chains here. There was some kind of fight somehow. Uh, you piss them off with the breaking the chains and repeating cycle. So let's find out. I'm going to go to the Disney villains deck. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, that's what this is. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, the Disney villains deck. And we're going to find out about this situation. I feel like you guys had a falling out of some kind. Um, and it may be over this addiction or this manipulative energy. Uh, they may be projecting. Uh, that happens all the time. People project their own, you know, fucked upness onto somebody else and saying, I'm not manipulative. They're being manipulative. A lot of people cannot own their own shit. So a lot of times when you can't own your own shit, you just put it on somebody else. You know, especially the person you're mad at, right? Um, I'm going to tell you, I feel like for some of you, this could be romantic. Uh, this could be an ex. Um, this, this could be someone who maybe you thought about being romantically involved with. Uh, it, it could be a friend. It could be family. No, group three feels like it could be a lot of different things. So take what resonates here. I'm focusing more on the energy of this, this uh, toxicity between these people because I feel like the person sending the evil eye feels like you fake being innocent and you're not. Like you want people to think that you didn't do anything wrong. I don't think that's true. I think you've owned up to your bullshit. But I think on the bullshit meter, this person sending you the evil eye uh, is way higher. Okay, because this person has done a lot of fucked up shit. I think they bailed on you when you needed them. Um, in fact, for some of you, they were never there in the first place. You were just so ate up with your own baggage, probably from childhood, that you really wanted to believe they were there for you. You almost created your own mythos about them being there, even though they really weren't when this shit hit the fan, right? Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody who you told a lot of things to. Like you opened your heart up to them emotionally, but they weren't there for you in the same way. And they never really appreciated how open you, you became with them. Like they didn't appreciate how deep you're willing to go with them. And you know, when, when emotional depth is not reciprocated, that can be a red flag. Perhaps the person isn't able to go deep emotionally, or maybe they're not able to go deep emotionally with you. Perhaps you need someone who is you know, better able to be there for you emotionally. And it sounds like this person just wasn't or isn't able to do that. And perhaps that's what this was about. You know, you just, you're on a whole different timeline now. <laughs> you just, you want different things, right? So just take what resonates here. Take the messages that resonate and leave the rest behind. Okay, I'm feeling this card. We have the five of swords, six of swords, six of swords. This energy of I'm moving on, you know, twin flames bound to each other or not. You could have been married or lived together or you could have been friends for a long time. This could be family, family ties, best friends, whatever. This is just like, you know, I know that we have history, but I can't do this anymore. Like, I, I feel like I'm being manipulated. I feel like I'm being used, used. I feel like you're not there for me. Like... And now this person is just sending such hateful energy. I want people to know that you're not innocent. It wasn't just me. I feel like you're shitting on me and making me look like the bad person, like the villain. 
but I'm not the villain. You were equally at fault here. I am so pissed off at you. Like, I want people to see what a bitch you are. And bitch is not a gender. It's an energy, okay? And in this case, it's the bitch, okay? I, I didn't leave. I was there. You just wouldn't let me do anything. This person's very defensive. I just wanted to know where you were. That's all. No. Mm -mm. This person was never happy. I feel like you had to put up with a lot of negative energy. Like they were constantly complaining about their job or about their day, about something you didn't do well enough. You're probably always being the sun, being positive, trying to pick them up and pick yourself up off the ground. It could have been a very dysfunctional relationship with a parent as well. You know, you were always like being the parent for them, like picking them up and doing those kind of things. And, you know, you couldn't do this anymore. You couldn't be the sun. The truth is you didn't feel good about it. So it was a false sun. It was because you were doing things that you really didn't want to do for this person because you have needs too. And it's like, you were like, you know what? I do have needs. I do have needs. So I need to move on. I need to bail. Just like you bailed on me, I need to bail on you, bitch. And so I did. I did. I, I showed my true self. I showed my needs. I showed my needs and I broke the cycle. And now this person's like, <laughs> you know what it is? They miss you. And there's also this energy of like, if I can't have you, then no one should have you. And I'm also getting this message of like, especially if this is an ex, this feeling of like, you're doing so good. Like you're looking so good. You're getting your shit together. Like, why couldn't I have this person? Like I had the fucked up version of you. Why can't I have this version of you? Like, what a POS. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't appreciate you when you were together. It is because of the energy between you two that you felt so drained that you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't get it together. You had to get away from them so you could. That's why this happened. That's why you're able to do what you do because you're not with this person. And they cannot understand that. They really don't want you to move on. The Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they, they don't want you to be happy. They do not want you to move on, okay? And I feel like this person constantly whines and complains about you to their mother. For some of you, they talk to their mother about you, okay? Or your mother talks to uh, your brother or an uncle or a male about you. Okay, that's very specific, but that's what's coming through. Okay, um, but they really don't want you to be happy without them. And this is real. Like, this is like, I, I want you to struggle. I want you to struggle and have to come back to me for some reason. For some of you, this may be somebody you have children with and they want you to need money. Okay, or validation. We have the page of coins here. Like, they want you to need money or validation. Look at these three together. It's like ganging up. It's like people, I see people coming together. Like it's Friday night. We're having pizza. We're going to drink beer and talk shit on you. <laughs> it's like talking about you becomes a sport. Hating on you becomes a sport. This is evil eye energy that is formed by people sitting around and talking shit about you. And just sending energy of, well, they're not going to make it. Or that relationship's not going to work out. Or I can't believe, you know, they take the kids to school five minutes late all the time. Or have you seen what they look like? Have you seen that, that shirt they've been wearing around town? That kind of stuff. Just real petty, real nasty bullshit that when these people sit around and talk, it just forms into this energy. And the thing is, I feel like judgment here. I feel like in many ways you laugh about it because you're like, I am still so popular <laughs> because that's the sun energy. That's your positive energy. That's your self mastery. You're just at this place where you're like, group two had this kind of energy too. You're just at this place where you're like, you guys are so funny. Like, why are you still talking about me? Why are you so obsessed with me? I'm hearing that song. Why are you so obsessed with me? Why are you so obsessed with me? 
Like, are y'all still, like, hung up on me? Am I that awesome? Am I that badass that you guys who are hating on me are still talking about me? You guys are my fans. <laughs> y'all are my little fans. We have these six of wands. There you are winning. Winning, bitch. Yeah, judge me all you want. I don't give a shit. Judge me. Judge on. Judge Judy. Because I'm here winning. I'm winning. So send me your little... Your little evil eye, your evil eye, your hating on me energy. <laughs> Do you? Some of you guys may live in the same town as this person or something or a small town. That won't be for all of you, but it feels like there may be some small town drama going on. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, <laughs> the Three of Cups with these uh, three, three people here sitting around. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Let, let, here's some tea. These three bitches ain't got shit going on. And you are the most interesting thing they have to talk about, y'all. Really, you are so interesting and fascinating to these haters that they don't have anything else to talk about. You are the star of the show. So, honey, enjoy. Enjoy being the star of the show. You are the sun. And as far as this forgiveness goes, well, you know, they can fuck off with that. <laughs> because <laughs> it isn't gonna happen it isn't gonna happen it's done it's done i'm done we have true love here i hear like you're you're on to this like you're in this energy of loving yourself this is self-love this is self-mastery and for some of you you have found someone else and although for some of you it may not be going perfect you're moving on you're moving away from this especially if this is an ex like you are moving away Okay, for some of you, like if this is family, you're still like, I love myself and respect myself, and I am not going to put up with this petty, dramatic bullshit. I'm going to go home on Friday night, I'm going to have my girl dinner, and I'm going to drink my wine, and I'm going to watch my shows, and you know what I'm going to do? Not even think about you, bitch. <laughs> not one time. <laughs> not one time. So, you know, do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do. Anything else? We have the star and the ace of cups. All right, we have temperance. Okay, okay, star, sun. <laughs> I mean, hey, this is, this is good energy. You guys are manifesting some really amazing energy. And I just want to take a moment to say, hey, you guys, you have a wish fulfillment coming. Okay, this is something you want for some of you guys. Okay. Here we go. True love. Some of you guys are manifesting true love. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Okay, I'm just saying. If that resonates, it does. For some of you guys, it, it's an opportunity. It's something you've been working on. Okay, there's victory, the star, uh, true love, and the ace of cups. So it's something that you have worked very hard on you put your heart and soul into and there's a lot of positivity on the table for it so that's a little side message for you i'm not going to go in real deep on that okay so let's get you some letters initials and some charms okay group three these are going to be your letters your initials and your charms keep in mind this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind i'm going to be reading off your initials for you now just keep in mind these could be your initials their initials a meaningful word a screen name just take what resonates we have s-a-d-p-o-g-s-e-m-u-m-y-a-f-h-b Q X L H K R E X I D O. I have sad mummy here. <laughs> Someone's sad, y'all. Someone's real sad. Let them be sad. You know what I'm saying? Let them be sad. They they made their bed. Let them lie in it. We have three. The number three coming out. So threes could be a number of alignment for you guys. We have ghost. A ghost here. Don't let the ghosts of the past hold you back. Okay, just keep moving forward. It's really not worth it. I think there's a lot of sweetness coming in for you. Um, for some of you, it's going to be slow, but it's still coming. Okay, so don't lose hope. Don't get discouraged. Um, we have a blackbird here. Um, ravens and blackbirds are going to be significant signs for you, especially if you align with like Hecate. Um, 
so be sure to pay attention to that as well. I, I'm feeling with this uh, purple gem here, I'm feeling like there, there may be like a third eye activation going on for you as well. Um, and I feel like your guides are coming in and saying, you know, you don't have to fight so hard, okay? Things are going to get easier. You're not going to have to fight for everything all the time, okay? Things are going to get easier. I do feel like with this with this charm right here, I feel like there is a an alignment of your chakras or an activation of your chakras. Now, it could be, especially with this stone right here, which is the yellow stone, I'm feeling like a solar plexus activation, which has to do with confidence, building confidence. And, you know, this situation that's going on with someone sending you this kind of energy and um, just being a hater, okay, um, can really zap your confidence. So, and I feel like there is a healing of your sense of self and a return to a place of feeling more confident. And literally, there's a penny on this mirror. So literally manifestations of money. Some of you guys might start receiving, you know, money in the mail or money in like your Venmo or something like that. So don't be surprised, especially tips or new business. If you have your own business, you might see more money start to flow for you. And that's going to be a sign. Um, you know, uh, some of you guys are doing like money affirmations and things like that. Keep doing them, okay? Whatever kind of money work you're doing to overcome some of these obstacles to perhaps generational issues with money, keep doing them because they're working. It just takes time, okay? It just really does take time. Uh, with the shell here, I'm getting like, uh, they are talking about you. So if you're wondering about that, they are. Uh, with this stone here, I'm getting like, uh, get you, if you don't have any carnelian, um, carnelian crystals, a carnelian crystal may be really helpful for you. So look into carnelian crystals, okay? I'm feeling like some of you could be really, um, it could be uh, really helpful. Now, I'm going to pick up the ring. This is a ring, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to, I listen, if you don't want to hear this, then, then this is your exit cue, okay? We have true love, we have uh, a cup, and we have a ring, okay? So for those of you who are wondering, I'm going to tell you, for some of you guys, you're manifesting someone who's going to want to marry you, okay? All right, I'm not going to go into it. I, I've made some videos about who will I marry and those kind of things, and you can go watch those. That's not really what this video is about. It's just a side message, and I'm not going to ignore it, okay? I know some people are like, I don't want to hear about it, but... It's there, okay, and it's probably a, a side manifestation. For some of you, you're actively trying to manifest someone to marry or a, a marriage situation, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame about that. I think a lot of people have made other people feel bad for wanting that, and don't feel bad. Don't feel guilty for wanting to be happy and knowing what you want, okay? If that's what you want, that's what you want, and that's all right, okay? So that's what I got for you, group three. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I uh, would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.